So this part of the discussion about iterations using the while loop concerns this, concerns this thing called an infinite loop. And this is what occurs is the inspection part of the while loop does not ever return a false value. So let's um, let's just write some code here, some while code. Uh, let's say if we have vector A and it has the values 86, 42, and 53 in it. And let's say uh, we'll do our initializing. Keep in mind we must initialize. We must uh, inspect and we must increment for a while loop. So we'll say x equals 1 and then we'll say uh, while x is less than or equal to the length of a. And then we'll do something simple like display um, we'll do something simple like display instead of display a here I'm going to display x. Okay, so um, let's do that. Um, no, let's do this. Let's do let's do display that display a of x. Um, and then let's say if we forget, which you will do this, and it happens all the time, you'll forget to put the incrementing phase part in there. Okay. Well, what's going to happen? Well, let's look at this. Um, First of all, you're going to come in, a is going to equal this vector, and then um, x is going to equal 1. So you'll have x equal to 1, just as before. Then you'll have x is less than or equal to the length of a, which is 3. So is 1 less than 3? Yes. So then I, in the command window, you would display the value a indexed at 1, which is 86. Okay. Then you go back up to the top of the loop, and then x is still the value 1 because you did not increment it here x will still be the value 1 this statement will still be true 1 is less than 3 and so you'll display 86 and then there's no incrementing you'll go back to the top of the loop x is still 1 so this is true and you display 86 one more time um, x is not incremented you go back up to the top of the loop x is 1 and it's less than 3 and you get 86 in fact you will continue to see 86 just show up on the screen all the way down. And in a lot of students, this causes panic because you're like, I can't stop it. There is no, the, you're not incrementing. So this part, the inspection part, never gets evaluated at false and it creates an infinite loop. That's sort of uh, apparent why it's called an infinite loop. And it can happen because you're either not checking right in here or you forget to increment or you increment in a way that this will never be false or something like that happens. And so there are a lot of reasons for an infinite loop, but it will happen because when you make mistakes when you code, it does happen. If it does happen, you put your cursor into the command window, click it in there, and then compress Control C. Um, and I think on an Apple machine, it's that weird open Apple symbol. I don't even know how to write that. Let's say open, yeah, open Apple. I think it's open Apple C on a Mac. Uh, but you press this and then this will stop and you'll probably get some, uh, it'll beep at you and, and give you some red stuff, uh, but it will stop and then you can go back and correct. So this is what happens when you get an infinite loop and I wanted to make this note because when it happens it sort of alarms students. So it usually happens that you did not set this loop up, you did not um, do the initializing, inspecting and incrementing in such a way that this part will ever evaluate to false. Okay, um, there are times that you that you do want an infinite loop. Um, like I, I can give the example of the program that runs in most ATM machines. Um, it's an infinite loop. You you get there, you enter your code, um, you're allowed to make transactions, and then you exit, and then it goes back to the to the please enter your code screen, and then the next person comes up and they enter their code and then transactions are made and then it comes back to the please enter your code screen but for and that's what a, an ATM machine does it sits there all day and goes through a loop and so in that case an infinite loop is good because it's part of the operation of the machine but in most of the stuff that we're gonna do um, in fact all the stuff that we're gonna do um, um, there's no need uh, for an infinite loop and so 
Um, if you get one, hit Control C, or I think on a Mac it's Open Apple C, and it will stop the loop, and then you can you can correct your code. So in this video, I want to demonstrate what happens um, if you you don't do the incrementing right, or if you set your while loop up, if you're initializing your inspection and your incrementing aren't working together in harmony, uh, then you can get what's called an infinite loop, which means that the inspection part never evaluates the false. And so let me, let me set this one up just like I've done the other ones. So I'm sort of intentionally going to make this mistake here to show you the effect and then how to get out of it because it's a common mistake made when people are using the while loop and so you need to know how to exit it. Um, so let's just do the same example that I did on the board. Six, four, two, three. X equals one, which is our initializing, and then while x is less than So as you can see here, what I should have done is I should have in here, if line 9 is the work portion of my while code block, then this should have been the incrementing part. But I'm going to omit this intentionally, and so to show you the effect, what happens when x doesn't get incremented. Um, and there are other reasons why uh, that you can create an infinite loop, but not incrementing properly is usually the main one, and that's the one I want to do here as an introductory illustration. So let's put some breakpoints in here. Okay. Um, let's save it. Put some breakpoints in there. Okay, let's um, let's watch what's going to happen here. So I enter. A gets equal to that vector 86, 42, 53. X gets initialized to 1. All that's just fine. Um, while, so X is 1. The length of A is 3 this time. So 1 is less than 3. Then I come in and I display A sub 1, which is 86. I go back to the top of my loop. If you notice, X has not been incremented as it had been in the other four examples. So X is still 1. X is still less than um, or equal to the length of A, and so um, you keep going in the loop, you display 86. You go back to the top, X is not X has not been incremented, so X is still 1. Um, the condition on, um, line 80, on line 8 is still true, so you execute line 9 again. Go back to the top, X didn't get incremented, X is still 1. The condition on line 8 is still true, and so you execute again and so on and so on and so this will go on forever or infinitely thus it's called an infinite loop okay um, let me take the breakpoints out now um, and the way you stop I can clear the breakpoints here um, and the way you stop this is I go down here and I hold down the control key and hit C um, and it's not doing it here because I'm in, still in debug mode, so I've got to exit debug mode here. Okay, so that's what I just did. All right, so now I've removed the breakpoints, and I do CLC because I want to clear this again. And let's do clear, well, my um, my clean slate will handle all that. So now, without the breakpoints, I'm just going to let this run freely, and so that you can see what happens. Um, so when I hit the run, now the number 86, and if you look down here very closely. Whenever MATLAB code is running, this busy signal, this busy signal, the word busy shows up next right here near the start menu. Um, and so that's showing you, if you can see over here by this, this slider bouncing up and down, and these numbers, 86 is being shown to the screen repeatedly. It's just showing on top of itself. So 
But you can see it's still running and it's still printing 86 and it's still going, it's still going. And so your code is running here and there's, you don't have any control over MATLAB. You can't edit, you can't do anything. So what you want to do here uh, to make this stop is if you hold down the control key and hit C, you do control C. I think you heard the beep. It beeped at you. It shows you down here, operation terminated by user during while infinite loop line 9. So it shows you that it, I did terminate the operation, and so I get my command prompt back down here. So control C, believe on the Mac, it's open Apple C, uh, will stop and terminate um, a, an infinite loop. So that's what happens um, when you don't set it up and when you're initialized, your inspect, and your increment are not working in harmony. Uh, so be wary of that, and you know how to get out of it. Don't panic, and you'll be okay.